Hello everyone, my name is John Fisher. I'm the Director of Product Development here for Jayco Tobles, which includes the Whitehawk, Jay Feather, and Micro Brands. Today we're super excited to take you through one of our hottest selling floor plans, the Jay Feather 21 MML. That actually came out a little over a year ago and consumers have been uh, super excited about it. Our dealers love it and uh, it's been, like I said, one of our best sellers. Uh, the rig is about 26 feet long in total length from tip to tail. Uh, UVW right around 5,100 pounds with the GVWR 6,500 pounds. We're gonna start here on the exterior and show you a few key features. Uh, starting right here with uh, a new feature that Matt Fisher, who does the J-Flight product, uh, put on our, our uh, travel trailers last year, the rock solid stabilizer system. So I just put one of the jacks down. There's a video online that Matt did, but compared to the scissor jacks that most of our competition uses, once you get to the campsite and you have everything leveled out, you are, uh, adjust the jacks downward. And again, it will be a noticeable difference where you don't hear the creaking or the rocking back and forth. Again, this is something we've had on our coaches for over a year. Consumers are absolutely loving the rock solid stabilizer system. Uh, another thing that you'll notice is that at Jayco on the lightweight units, we always try to maximize our awning length. So largest awning uh, is 21 feet, uh, but we're always depending on where doors are at, located windows. This one has a 15 foot awning, but as you can see, we're always gonna maximize awning length a lot of the camping obviously is done outside under the awning that's where the memories are made so we're gonna <clears throat> give you as much shade out there as possible um, you'll notice on the campsite here large windows that's another thing that we always look at in all of the models is can we increase the size of the windows a lot of our competition will have smaller windows um, so that's a key feature one other cool feature that we've had on the Jayco Towable brands for over five years is the American-made Goodyear Endurance tires. So the customers have also raved about this. Uh, not only are they American-made, they do have the highest speed and load ratings in the industry, up to 87 miles per hour. Not that we encourage you to be traveling at 87 miles per hour with an, with an RV, but they are rated up to that and then also have a six-year warranty. Now a couple other features I wanna go over is in the underbelly, some of the things that you don't see. We do have a fully enclosed underbelly with an upgraded climate shield package. What that means is that the J Feather and Whitehawk brands and Micro were certified to carry climate shield. They were put in a weather chamber and it was basically heated up to 100 degrees and then we had to maintain ambient room temperatures for a prolonged period of time. And then they did the same thing at zero degrees. Now, it is an extended three camping season camper. I will never tell you that it's four season because um, if you are in sub-zero temperatures for a prolonged period of time, things could freeze up. Um, another thing that we have in, in the micro feather and Whitehawk is 55 gallons of fresh water, which is super important to consumers. And then we do have a 200 watt solar panel that is now standard uh, along with the 30 amp controller inside. And then you can upgrade to the Overlander 2 package, which will add an additional 200 watt panel on the roof. And then we'll put an 1800 watt inverter, usually somewhere in the pass through storage. And one last thing I wanted to point out on the exterior before we go inside is the on-demand water heater. So we use the Furion brand, which is a 60,000 BTU water heater. That is super important because there's a lot of competition out there that have a 42,000 BTU on-demand water heater. The difference is from your incoming ground water temperature at 60,000 BTUs, you'll be able to take a hot shower. And that obviously is important, whereas the 42,000 BTU um, water heater may not get your temperature, temperatures up to a hot shower. Now that we've covered some of the cool features on the exterior of the 21 MML, we're gonna take you inside and show you some things in there. Now we're gonna take you inside the new 21 MML. One thing you'll notice is that we do have the solid stance step that everybody likes with just quick 
flip of the button down and it does have adjustable legs on it depending on the on the campsite that you're at so let's go inside and take a look at this new model now we're inside the 21 mml and one of the most important selling features of this uh this model is the fact that you can have the bed down while you're traveling to your campsite which is super important to consumers so the slide outs in the bed is down you can sleep you can get to the refrigerator or i can get back to the bathroom and this is a murphy bed model sometimes you get consumers that are a little skeptical of murphy beds but from the old days where they were very cumbersome all it is you're just folding your bed spread back real quick and then it's just the basically a really light you lift it it snaps into place now with the bed in the up position you can see we'll take the sofa and with a quick motion you've got a, a sofa nice sitting added sitting area to your theater seating and dinette booth it's got cup holders in it cool feature we got two drawers built in for extra storage and we've got a two by four folding table that a lot of folks can use for extra dining space or they'll take it outside and put it under the awning, <clears throat> play cards or to set food on. And then again, when you wanna go and, and make the bed, it's nighttime, you're ready to sleep or take a nap, just a quick flip of a button, the platform comes down and you're good to go. And I've had folks, you know, been, been at a lot of different shows where folks have said, I just don't know about the Murphy bed. And what I always encourage them, I tell them I'll get 10 nails done and just nail the platform down. You won't have to worry about it. And they kind of chuckle, but in all seriousness, if you don't like the Murphy beds, just leave the bed down. You'll be good to go. The nice thing is, again, it's always there having that sofa or that extra seating area if you need it. So the 21 MML also comes equipped with theater seating. So you got double recliners, you got a storage area here for remotes and things like that. And then one other cool feature is our patented table trays. Came out with these a couple years ago and they're really uh, been a nice hit with the customers. Um, basically, you just got a base here that fits right in the cup holder of the theater seating and this will fit a 12 uh, inch dinner plate along with a full setting uh, you can sit here watch the tv and uh, have some supper and then again your dinette booth the table will fold down make into a bed you've got your overhead tv which is on a swivel so if you are laying in bed you can tilt it however you want based on the viewing angle that's one important feature with the uh, J Feather Whitehawk and Micro models is no matter where you're sitting in the coach, you have adequate viewing angles. So now I just wanted to show you the kitchen area. And before I start, I wanted to throw some kudos to Stacy Stewart and her design team. All of the 2024 models have the uh, vintage farmhouse interior. So we just offer one interior on the Micro, Feather, and Whitehawk. But what we did is we, we brightened up a little bit of the farmhouse look from the past years, a little bit brighter white, but instead of using a lot of bourbon chocolate as your enhancements, we just have slight bourbon chocolate. And then we used our popular vintage washed gray from last year, the last couple of years. And we're using that as an accent wood in booth dinettes, overheads. You can see this mirror is framed with it. So that's some of the things that we're doing. But Stacy and her team are just awesome. They, they follow the home trends and really keep Jayco on top with our interior decors. The kitchen is well appointed. And one thing that we've worked very hard on over the past few years, our engineering department has done a great job because when we design a new floor plan, there's things that you don't see that we have to basically bury in, in somewhere in the coach like furnaces and water heaters and uh, water pumps and things like that. And then before you know it, like a lot of our competition, you'll just see a door here and a couple drawers here and maybe an access panel to get to one of those uh, one of those items. Um, but what we did is we worked hard to look have a real residential look. So you can see that the cabinet alignment, very symmetrical um, with overhead doors, drawers, everything just looks really good. And even in times where 
we don't we may have an access panel you like if you would open this door it has a full uh opening on both under and over but if we would have put a furnace in there we would not just have an ex access panel exposed we'd have the access panel but a full door covering it up so just some things that Jayco has worked on to make our coaches look more residential and, and uh, I know our consumers have been really pleased with those with these changes. Uh, really nice appliance package. One of the upgrades for Jay Feather going into the 24 model year was you had an 8 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator last year and we've upped that to a 10 cubic foot. And the nice thing about this is it is a it is a dual hinge so you have freezer on top give it a good slam you can open up the other from either way uh it's nice in like your whitehawk models where you have an island um you sometimes you know depending on where you come in or, or around the island you can open up the refrigerator and freezer from both sides you got a 17 inch oven with range uh nice dual sink uh and the nice thing about that is we've got drying rack and a, and a sink cover uh, standard. Our roller shades, as we brought out in the model year 23, nice thing about them is they're blackout shades, but they have a reflective barrier on the backside. So if you are camping and it's a hot day, you're gonna keep that heat out of your coach. Um, up here on the ceiling, we have a 13.5 BTU AC, but you'll see that throughout the coach and even into the bathroom, we run directional and closable uh, AC vents. So depending on what parts you want to cool, uh, you can get more cooling in the bedroom at night. Um, we also have a max air power fan, so it's a four speed fan. And if you have the windows open on a nice day, it'll pull a lot of air through the coach. Um, if it's a rainy day, you can keep the lid closed and it'll actually act, it'll move some air inside, kind of like a, an attic fan. So just some cool features up top here. Now I just want to show you a couple things here in the bathroom. Um, for being a smaller coach, double axle coach, it is very well appointed. You got a nice uh, shower here. We always put a skylight in, so I'm a little over six foot one, um, but I have plenty of head space in here. And what you see me standing on, another thing that we want to talk about here at Jayco is because we, you know, we have the two year uh, tip to tail warranty with a three year structural. So we build them, we do build them better here at Jayco. So I'm standing on a plywood platform where a lot of competition will just put a uh, foam off fall under here where you got a P trap and plumbing runs under here. You want to make sure that's strong. And I always encourage you to stand in the shower and just jump up and down. It's super uh, important to have this solid. And if you lift up our dinettes, you lift up our, our, uh, uh, mattresses you lift up the bunk mats that's what you'll see plywood you're not going to see thin luon paneling or osb you're going to see quality high grade plywood so again here in the bathroom got a nice linen nice uh, uh, medicine cabinet so plenty of storage and then adequate space on your toilet area with your uh and you do have a trim ring here for a towel and then your toilet paper holder. So again, this coach is uh, absolutely well appointed. Um, again, we came out with it a year ago and it has been an awesome seller for us. So if you haven't seen it, uh, I would say a majority of our dealers have this unit in stock or will be getting some more in as we head into this new calendar year. I'd encourage you if you're looking for a really nice couples coach that has plenty of storage and a lot of uh, feature rich uh, benefits. So if you wanna see further information on this, you can get on our website, uh, jayco.com, and there, there'll be a 360 view where you can kind of tour the coach yourself um, or just contact your local dealer. We just wanted to take the time today to show you this new model and uh, thank you for your time. And you guys have a great 2024.